Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about a test for conflict serializability of a schedule, right? A schedule S of n transactions is conflict serializable if it is conflict equivalent with some serial schedule of same n transactions, right? Here, there is an algorithm to test conflict serializability of a schedule S. This algorithm tests conflict serializability of a schedule by precedence graph, right? First step of this algorithm is for each transaction TI participating in schedule S, we will create a node labeled TI in the precedence graph, right? Second step is for each case in schedule S where transaction TJ executes read item X operation after transaction TI executes write item X operation, right? We will create an edge from node labeled TI to node labeled TJ in the precedence graph, right? Now third step, for each case in schedule S where transaction TJ executes a write item X after transaction TI executes a read item X. We will create an edge in the precedence graph from node labeled TI to node labeled TJ, right? Fourth step is for each case in schedule S where transaction TJ executes a write item X operation after transaction TI executes a write item X operation. We will create an edge from node labeled TI to node labeled TJ in the precedence graph. If the precedence graph has no cycles, then the schedule S is conflict serializable. Right? Then it means the schedule S is conflict serializable. Right? If the precedence graph has no cycles, it will be more clear after this example. Now consider this schedule. Right? In this schedule, two transactions are participating, T1 and T2. So here, we have drawn two nodes labeled T1 and T2, right? For one is for each transaction, right? Now, see this, read item X operation of T1, right? Now see this, write item X operation of T2, right? Here, transaction T2 performs write item X operation after T1 transaction performs read item X operation. So, we will draw an edge from T1 to T2, right? We will draw an edge from node labeled T1 to node labeled T2, right? Now, see here, read item X operation of transaction T2, right? Now see this, write item X operation of transaction T1. Now, transaction T1 performs write item X operation after transaction T2 performs 
read item x operation right so we will draw an edge from node labeled t2 to node label t1 right now see in this precedence graph there is a cycle therefore this schedule is not a conflict serializable schedule right now see another example now see this schedule of transactions t1 and t2 now what we have to do we have to check the conflict serializability of this schedule right and this schedule has two transactions t1 and t2 so first of all we will make two nodes labeled t1 and t2 right now see this read item x operation of t1 and write item x operation of t2 right this operation write item x operation of t2 is performed after read item x operation of t1 right so we will draw an edge from node labeled t1 to node labeled t2 right Now see this right item x operation of T1 and see this right item x operation of T2. This right item x operation of T2 is performed after right item x operation of T1. So we will draw an edge from node labeled T1 to node labeled T2. So here we have already drawn this edge, right? Now, now see this read item x operation of transaction t2 is performed after write item x operation of transaction t1 right this read item x operation of transaction t2 is performed after write item x operation of transaction t1 right so here we will draw an edge from node labeled t1 to node labeled t2 here this edge is already drawn right now see in this precedence graph there is no cycle therefore this schedule is conflict serializable because in the precedence graph there is no cycle right this precedence graph does not have any cycle therefore this schedule is conflict serializable